Good evening and welcome to the 2016 NCAA Division II Women's Volleyball Championship and the post-match press conference from our first semifinal match. We are joined this evening by the Sailfish of Palm Beach Atlantic, who finished the season at 32-4 after falling 3-1 to Alaska Anchorage in today's first semifinal. <coughs> With us are head coach Bob White, senior middle Emma Valentine, and senior defensive specialist Katie Valentine. We'll open, it, we'll open with a statement from Coach White and then turn it over for questions. Well, um, we lost on the f uh, first day of the season, second day of the season, I guess, and then we lost on the next to the last day of the last day that you can lose on in the season. So you have to put that in perspective. And um, so we won 32 in a row. Um, before we lost us now, we had, we had the longest winning streak in the country at 32. And um, I'm very... Um, grateful for that and then we had that opportunity for these two right here we, we wanted to give them every opportunity to play as deep into December as you could and we gave them to the next to the last day and and um, it's it's a pretty pretty good um, thing for them they are um, they are the reason we're here we've I've said that all along they are four-year starters both of them um, they committed to PBA when we were trying to get this program where we are today, um, back to back now, um, coming to the Elite Eight, Final Four. Um, so it's a, it's a huge um, <coughs> blessing to be sitting between both of them. And I'm grateful that we got, had this opportunity to at least play through today. And um, uh, Alaska Anchorage is, um, you know, is they just dug balls that, you know, every, that seemed impossible to dig at times. So uh, hats off to them. and. And their staff and um, and their um, ability to, to you know to push it out on us when we uh, we had opportunities to you know hopefully come back and win it. But I thought we fought to the very end, and that says a lot about our kids. Um, we expect to be back next year. Um, we're a very young team, and um, we we lose. This is the only two that we lose, and, and there's are huge losses, no doubt about it. But um, we um, we want to make this something that we do. Uh, Annually, um, one of the teams that we admire a lot is Wheelan Jesuit. It took them five times before they got it. And um, so we know sometimes it's perseverance and uh, we're gonna persevere with this program. And the, these two right here are gonna be people that we're gonna point to and say, this is how you do it. You do it like Emma and you do it like Katie. And, and we got a chance every year to get back and, and hopefully get it done at some point in the, in the near future. Thanks. Katie, can you talk a little bit about what it was like to to play right alongside not only your sister, but your twin sister for four years? Well, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity um, to play alongside my sister. Um, she pushes me to be better in every aspect of life, and um, I just think playing alongside a sister is something that not a lot of people get to experience, and I wouldn't change it for the world, so. <laughs> um, I just think that not everyone gets the opportunity to play volleyball at all, and I got to do it with my sister, my best friend, and. We literally spent these four years together just growing in love with each other and just like stuff like that. And um, I just think that our whole team fed off of both of our relationship with each other and we all became sisters just as close as we are to each other. And Bob, can you talk a little bit more about these two as individuals, about how they really helped to develop the program like you talked about and get back to the national championship again? Well, they're, they're two role models of exactly what we want. Um, our team GPA is a 3.7. They're both, they both hover at 4.0, you know. Um, so um, they're both starters, you know, and they, and they both are, are strong, committed in their faith, which is an important part of who we are at Palm Beach Atlantic. And so um, when you need to point to someone, when you're talking to recruits, and these are the kind of these are the kind of young women that you're looking for, you point at Emma and Katie, and, and they're exactly um, the model that, of the of the student athlete that we're looking for. That's committed in in, in all three areas of their life, uh, academically, athletically, and faith. And um, that's what drives us. Our purpose is found in our faith at PBA, and that's our PBA way. Mm -hmm. And um, we really believe in that wholeheartedly. We believe that we play for a higher purpose. And um, these two guys emulate that um, better than any, other, any player that's ever played for us. It's just been an honor. I don't always know who they are. I still get confused. <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad that uh, they're a part of our legacy and part of our history. And we'll point to them um, and we'll remind them, future teams, when we finally get this done, that they were part of the reason why, why we got it done. 
Um, can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to be at PBA for these four years? Not only just the volleyball aspect, but what, is, what does Palm Beach Atlantic mean to you? Um, well, first of all, it's um, every year I've been here, it's been a team that loves each other unconditionally, and especially this year, I, I can't even explain the love we had for each other, and I think that was evident on the court even when we were losing. And um, just the relationships formed and the coaches that we had and just all the memories in general were just perfect. And just who we played for and what we played for was just everything I could ask for in volleyball. Um, well, I think that um, being at PBA has really changed me as a person. And um, I think that I thank Coach White here for allowing me to play all four years. Um, I want to thank my teammates because we are just, as Emma said, just so close. And um, I think being so close allows you to succeed in all areas of life. So when you know you can go to one of your teammates for like help or something or another one, like it, everyone was so close. And it's just that's the hard part of leaving PBA is leaving all the relationships and friendships. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much.